Welcome to Living Periodic Tables Science Bites. Did you know that the periodic table holds secret information? Well, today we're going to take a look at that. The periodic table was created by a Russian chemist named Dmitry Mendeleev in 1869. At that time, many elements that we consider commonplace had not been discovered. The ingenious part of the layout is that Mendeleev left gaps where he knew elements should exist, so that when they were discovered, the table did not have to be reworked. The elements are arranged in order of atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons in that element. So hydrogen is the first because it has an atomic number of 1. The columns are called groups, and they go from 1 to 18. And the rows are called periods. They go from 1 to 7. Laying out the table in this manner allows elements with similar atomic structure and hence similar chemical properties to be grouped together. The most common question about the periodic table is why there are two rows just hanging out by themselves at the bottom. If you look closely, right next to barium, there are the numbers 57 to 71, and next to radium, there are the numbers 89 to 103. This is where those rows belong, and it made sense to condense the table by placing them below. The top row is the lanthanoids, who are known as the rare earth elements, and the bottom row is the actinides, who are all radioactive. Now let's look at the groups. Group one is known as the alkali metals, and are highly reactive with water, except hydrogen. It's a non-metal and, well, it's a major part of making water. Group two is the alkali earth metals and the second most reactive group. When they react with water, they tend to form alkaline solutions and that is why they got their name. Groups four through 12 are known as the transition metals. They look like metals, they're malleable and ductile, they conduct heat and electricity, and they form positive ions. Copper is a transitional metal. Group 18 is the noble gases, which are known to be inert, meaning that under normal conditions, they are non-reactive. There are other secrets hidden in the periodic table, such as reactivity. Starting with group 18, period 1, and drawing a diagonal line to group 1, period 7, we see reactivity increase as it approaches group 1. Here, you can see the electron fields are represented by element location, and the groups all contain the same number of valence electrons. With all its ingenuity, the periodic table still leaves something to be desired by some. Charles Janet actually offered this alternative to the periodic table that is based on the electron orbital filling instead of valence electrons like our current table. It even has a build out for the future elements such as 119, 120, 121, and all of the superactinides. It has yet to gain traction and others have just modified the current table to hold these theoretical elements.